What's up people? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing great. Today we are going to talk about Pakora Bans all time famous 1 million and then uh, we are going to review uh, two perfumes which are very good alternatives or you can say inspired versions of this perfume one from the house of Paris Corner uh, which is from their series of autobiography and called Paramount and another one from the house of Rassasi and it's called uh, Atar Al Muhibba let's start from 1 million uh, 1 million is a very famous perfume and I'm sure most of you have already know about it, already experienced it but still I will try to give a small introduction or description about the fragrance for the people who are very new to the journey or to the youngsters who are very young and they have not experienced uh, the smell yet. One Million is uh, one of the most famous fragrance from the house of Pakuraban and when they have launched it, it was a very unique combination, a very unique smell and that was the reason what makes it very famous. Let's start from the notes breakdown. In the top notes, you will have grapefruit, mandarin and mint. In the mid notes, you will have cinnamon, rose and pepper. And in the base notes, you will have leather, wood, patchouli and amber. This is the notes breakdown which is provided by the company. But I will try to explain you how it actually smells because I don't think uh, there is anyone who can smell each and every note in any perfume. So let's start from the opening. As soon as you will spray this, the first thing which will hit your nose will be cinnamon and rose. It's a very beautiful combination of cinnamon and rose. And there are citruses. As they have mentioned in the top notes, there is grapefruit and uh, there is mandarin and there is mint. Mint is not very prominent. Mandarin is not very prominent. But after cinnamon and rose, uh, the fruity side of this perfume, which is very prominent, is grapefruit. But mainly the most prominent thing uh, the base of the perfume is cinnamon and rose and the note of cinnamon got very famous because of this perfume you will also experience uh, the note of pepper there it's very light very subtle it's not uh, very overpowering or it's not very uh, very strong so the fragrance of this perfume is very spicy with a slightly fruitiness in it so this was about the fragrance uh, this perfume is very famous if you want more details on the fragrance and notes, uh, you can search on YouTube and I'm sure you will find hundreds of videos explaining this perfume in very detail. Now let's come to the main point, the alternatives or inspired versions of this perfume. So the first alternative we are going to discuss is from the house of Rassasi and it's called Adr Al Muhabba. Let's start from the presentation. As you can see, it comes in this kind of box and the box is made of paper it's not a hard board but the quality is decent here everything the printing and the finish is good the print is all in chrome okay so here on the front as you can see there is a picture of saxophone and this is all embossed the name is Atar Al Muhabba which means uh, Atar or the fragrance of love and under the name you will find written symphony of love at the back side you will find a picture of piano and a very beautiful poem written here in the bottom are regular stuff ingredients and things Nothing on the top. You will also find a sticker on the side, and on the sticker it's written "Special Gift Inside." And as you can see in the close-up video, the special gift inside are the cufflinks now let me show you the bottle here and as you can see it's a very beautiful bottle a mix of chrome and red glass this red glass will remind you Dunhill Desire but trust me it has nothing to do with Dunhill Desire okay this is a chrome base but this is not metal this is plastic but on the other hand the chrome piece on the top this is metal and even the cap this is made of metal it's a very heavy cap made of metal and uh, it's a very snug fit see and it will give you this feel of click very satisfying feel of the sound and the cap have uh, circles or rings on it and there is a very beautiful heart shaped gem on the top the finish is so nice, the finish is amazing, it will never give you that cheap feel, even the chrome type of plastic here, 
on the bottom it will not give you any cheap kind of feel the finish is so good the finish is so good it's amazing uh, you know Rotsasi they are very good they have a very good name in the market and they will never do cheap stuff the sprayer is good it's very good it throws a lot of juice so this is about the presentation now let's talk about the fragrance the fragrance of this beautiful perfume 85 to 90 percent similar to a 1 million it's not a hundred percent copy paste uh, we will go in the details later when we do a comparison between these two and in 1 million now let's jump to the another product and the other very good alternative or inspired version of 1 million is from the house of Paris Corner Paris Corner is a house based in Dubai and this is from the autobiography series and the name of the perfume is Paramount uh, first of all let me tell you something about uh, their series uh, Paris Corner uh, as you know they are very famous for making inspired versions or alternatives to a very famous international brand they have divided uh, their products in I think four categories uh, on the base of price for example uh, most of their perfumes or I can say like 85% uh, of their perfumes uh, cost 25 dirham okay and then they got this series autobiography and this series uh, will cost you 30 dirham and after this they have a uh, magic oud series in magic oud series they got like four perfumes or five perfumes I think I think five and that will cost you 35 dirham after this they have another series uh, in which they are copying uh, luxury brands uh, like Amouage and Mima Paris for example this this is uh, an alternative to African leather from house of Mima Paris and they call it African leopard we will also review this in future uh, but this series where they are making alternatives to Mima Paris and Amouage are their costly one and these will cost you 40 dirham each so let's get back to our product autobiography paramount let's see the presentation first a very simple uh, paper box okay uh, nothing special uh, the print is good this is also chrome finish printing on the side you will see these lines and these lines are embossed it will give you the feel of groove the logo of their autobiography series here name of the perfume and the logo of Paris corner at the back a very simple presentation nothing special to talk about on the other hand as compared to the box bottle is very beautiful and got a very nice presentation uh, this bottle is made of glass as you can see there is a thick glass base in the bottom and it's a very slim thin bottle and the cap looks like a crown as you can see it's white and gold it's plastic but the finish is so nice the finish is so good it will never give you a cheap fit from anywhere a very good quality and this bottle is polished if you see the finishing once you have this bottle in your hand you will see how clean how beautifully finished the bottle is even if you look from the bottom this is very premium glass very nice glass very good finish even the sprayer is very nice very nice very nice sprayer so this was about the presentation and now we will compare and discuss the fragrance of all these three perfumes okay so now we are going to compare the fragrances of all these three and I will try to tell you the differences between all these three fragrances as I have told you 1 million it opens with a very prominent and strong note of cinnamon rose pepper and the citrus is here the grapefruit note is very low it's not very prominent but the citrus you will find here is grapefruit that bitter kind of citrus on the other hand if we will talk about the sassis Atar al muhibba this opens with a very prominent and overpowering note of mandarin the citrus note but the citrus note here is not grapefruit it's mandarin it's like a sweet uh, kind of citrus uh, not that bitter kind of uh, citrus which you will find in origin 1 million cinnamon and rose is there but not that prominent not that strong as in the original 1 million now let's come to Paramount from Paris Corners autobiography series same like Atar al Muhabba from Rassasi this one also opens with citrus and the cinnamon and rose note is uh, less prominent here so I can say these two are more similar 
as compared to one million. But if you give it like half an hour, the citruses here will become very soft, very low, they will tone down and it will become like 95% similar to one million. The cinnamon note will get prominent and the rose will get prominent and it will go uh, more closer to the original one million. Though the note of cinnamon in original one million is very strong, it will never go that strong. But yeah, smell wise, it will become like 95% similar to one million. The one million which I have uh, with me right now, this is from the new batches, but I still remember when I have used one million first time in my life, that was in 2011, 2011. And this reminds me of that old batch because in that old batch, uh, the citrus are more prominent like these two. As I have told you that after half an hour, this, this one will become uh, more closer to 1 million. But on the other hand, this one will stay the same. Cinnamon note will never come up, the citruses here will never go down. This one here is having his own kind of character, maybe Rasasi. They don't want uh, to copy 100% fragrance of 1 million and they want to keep it like this so they can have their own touch in it. So here the citruses will be always prominent. So in short, in the dry dawn, this will be like uh, more similar to 1 million. On the other hand, this will be like 90% and this will go like up to 95% similar. Now let's talk about the concentration of these perfumes. Uh, 1 million is, comes in EDT concentration or the toilet concentration. And the one from Rossasi, this is EDP concentration. And the one from House of Paris Corner is also EDP concentration. Now let's come to the performance. As you all know, uh, these perfumes, the designer perfumes, uh, they have toned down because of the regulations and the new rules. These perfumes are not performing uh, same as in the past. From this one, I'm getting maximum of four to five hours of longevity with one and a half to two hours of good projection. If we talk about Rasasis Atar al Muhibba, as all other Rasasis products, this is a beast perfume. This beauty will give you around 10 to 12 hours. And now if we talk about the Paramount, if not more, then at least it will give you the same performance as the original 1 million from Pakaraban on a fraction of price. Okay, uh, for me, it gives me five to six hours of uh, good longevity uh, with a very good projection of uh, first one and a half hour and after that it will give you a good siage for another one hour now let's come to the price the price for a 100 ml bottle of 1 million is 209 dirham in the market and the price for 200 ml bottle of 1 million is 280 dirham on the other hand the price of Rasasis Atar Al Muhibba is 105 dirham for 75 ml EDP concentrated juice. And now if we talk about Paramount, this is just 30 dirham. 30 dirham for 50 ml of juice. In the performance, this is very true that this is not as good as this, but this is 105 dirham for 75 ml. And this is just 30 dirham for 50 ml. So for the price we are paying, you can never go wrong and there is no complaint. I think if you have this uh, after every three to four hours, you can refresh it and it will go with you whole day. The price is very economical. You can have actually three bottles of these in the price of this. So it's up to you and your preference for the fragrance. You can go, you can check both of these and see which fragrance you like more. Uh, if you like this, you can go with this. If you like this, you can go with this. For me, these both are winners. Uh, this is my second bottle, this is my first bottle, this is first time I am using it but in my next visit I am going to bring one more bottle of this because I am going to wear this a lot for the seasons, you can use it all year round uh, but in the winters you will enjoy it more because there are spices, there is cinnamon but because of the citrus is there and the rose uh, you can also wear it in the summers if you are living in a controlled environment you are spending your time in air conditioning for the gender believe me it's like a unisex kind of perfume uh, rasasi they are selling it uh, with the tag of for men uh, paris corner they are selling it as a unisex uh, believe me any lady any gents they can use it and uh, if we talk about the age group 
teenagers, old age, mid age. Uh, this is a very crowd pleasing kind of perfume. Anyone can use it. Even teenagers are going to like it because of the citruses and uh, uh, cinnamon and the spiciness there. Uh, the middle aged people they were also gonna like it because of the spices and rose and uh, the leathery base, you know. And even the women they are going to like it because uh, of the rose, the very prominent rose is there, and very uh, sweet uh, citruses are there. So, overall, it is a unisex and for all the edges. So, this was today's review. Hope you like it. See you in the next video. Stay tuned.